Welcome back YouTube. I got another interesting video for you to check out. I'm doing a review of a product called Backlink Rhino. Okay, so if you want to build backlinks, this is a program that looks pretty good. Uh, as you know, backlinks are just sites that link to your site. They put their they put your site on their site and it'll help you get traffic because the Google like backlinks. You know, the more backlinks the better. Um, you got to if you got a blog to get the you know, five thousand backlinks due to uh, YouTube Google likes that the site has ten backlinks. Um, so get backlinks is very good in this program here is gonna help you get backlinks. Um, let's see here. Results from Wikipedia using their API. In other words, they are bang up to date. Let's do an example. I'm going to go with Bitcoin. And if we choose that and click on Go, and we'll start getting result results immediately. And you can see how quick it is. And you can see if I scroll down, this is not just one or two results. There's a page fault here. So we've got a good selection of results to work through and have a look at. The results returned show the title of the article and the search term snippet along with the word count of the article. Clicking on the title of the article will take you to the article itself on Wikipedia. Clicking on the arrow to the left of the result will open up a new subtable showing the dead link results found on the page. The link destination and the anchor text is shown. We also do an analysis to find the current response code for the link. 404 just means it's a dead page on a live domain. A zero means that the domain might be available for registration. Now, if I click on that little arrow again and reduce that one, I'm going to go to another example. Uh, the fifth on the page, BitStake. Now, when I was looking at this earlier on, about 10 minutes ago, it was showing as a status of 404, so potentially an expired domain. And in fact, it was. What I'm going to do is pull my browser box down a little bit so you can actually see at the top the URL. I'm going to click on that for that domain. And it comes up as nothing showing because the, expired, the site was expired. If I change this now, and get rid of the subdomain blog and just go to bitstake.co you'll find that yes it was free I have registered it literally 10 minutes ago you can verify for yourself that this domain was registered on Thursday the 15th of June 2017 which was right now when I'm creating this video so I was able within four or five uh, results for the term Bitcoin to find an expired domain and grab it, and I've now got that domain, I can use it for backlinks to my own sites and offers, and I know that it's got a high authority link from Wikipedia. Now if we go back to Backlink Rhino, you can see that the actual link, or the domain that's linked to from Wikipedia is blog.bitstake, so it's a subdomain and a page on that subdomain. So I am going to have to create that subdomain and that page and put the relevant information on there, which is the page that then gets linked to, is linked to from Wikipedia, and I can then create backlinks to my own sites and videos from that. But I haven't actually done that yet, simply because I wanted to grab the domain while it was available and make sure that I've got it for this demonstration video. The final step is to see if the link destination page exists on archive.org. If it is present, then you can click on the link to visit the archive copy and use it to recreate the page on your own domain, obviously being aware of copyright issues. Let's so that's uh, I know pretty much some that's some of the black link rhinos methods finding backlinks that or domains that had a lot of backlinks to it and that's very good because you know if I had to buy this I will use that for I got my blog I buy a domain domain ten dollars so you can spend a little money by a domain but that domain had a lot of backlinks so if you don't have a blog if you don't have a blog and you can find a domain with a lot of authority on it or backlinks from Wikipedia and you build your blog based on that on that domain name you get a lot of traffic fast on the uh, on the um, and then what you could do take that same domain that I found for you find more domains and you could build them out and uh, and backlink to the other 
website you just bought from backlink uh, from, the, from that backlink site you bought and have a you know how all your backlinks coming to your site was give you free traffic so certain ways to get traffic to your domains okay so um and that's one way he doing it okay and it's very hard to get backlinks nowadays sometimes um it's always good to have a blog okay a blog is very expensive to run it's always good to have a blog that in the future you can brand it you can um put you make youtube videos for it that could be your go-to place you need to make money online you need three things you're gonna need an email list go to the email list i say you're gonna need a youtube channel you're gonna need a youtube channel you're gonna need that Okay, because it's free traffic. That's the easiest way to get free traffic. You can make a video in 10 minutes and get views in the next three, four hours. One or two views. I mean, it's a little bit of views, but it's traffic. Email list, YouTube channel, and I say a blog. I think a blog is, is, is the foundation because that blog could go anywhere. It could go on YouTube. You could email to your list. You can. Uh, you know, send traffic to it, you can create a landing page from it. That blog is very, very, very important. If I had to pick one uh, of the three, it would have to be my blog. Now people say email lists make money. That's true, but the email lists don't go but so far. That blog can go a lot of places. That blog could go on social media. That see social media can't go to my my email list. So email list, I can promote private services to my list. That's all I can do with the blog. I can actually have a blog on YouTube, on YouTube, on Facebook, go on forums, YouTube, and, and, and brands. I can have T-shirts and advertise offline. My, my